So you two are now reacting to the K-Indie jazz pianist Lee Jinna and her album titled Doshi Doshi Sokma. Sokma. You're going to be reacting to the two title tracks off of this album. First up is called Mystery Village. In the lyrics, Jinna tells the story of a fantasy village where the people's greed has totally consumed them. As the magic of the world is about to fade away, a girl who has the power to heal the world wakes up. Jinna encourages the girl repeating, "Hey little girl, I believe in you. You can lean on me." Which is unseen is priceless. Strong power is growing within you. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I'm excited. This sounds, sounds like interesting. This I, princess I like bride. the story, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The song is composed by E. Jenna and Simon Petrin. Yo. Oh, names we really know. Oh, sick. 3 2 one birds. It's giving Princess Mononoke. Whoa. Whoa. The piano is so nice. That's beautiful. It's pretty sad. Sad beginning. Very minor. <gasps> Kind of sounds like a Chopin nocturne. What? Oh, nice. that was great. Ooh. I like the drums already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know the key that is. That's great. Oh my god. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. We're in that mystical zone. Ooh. Ooh. Glass bottles. They got glass bottles. Ooh. Uh. So sick. I like how they introduce new instruments each section. There's little pits. Mm. 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 Damn. Oh, he's a human. For all we know. Her voice is so gorgeous too. It's making me so emotional. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It's got that math rocky type of production. It's a little too crisp for me. Mm. I'm always a fan of more lush textures. Yeah, I really like the instrumental backtrack. Like there's thing very true to the instrumental sound. Oh, that bass, bro. Where is this going? Mm. Oh my mm. god, the snare. You can see the jazz influence. Mm -hmm. This is so, so calming. So this is just straight up a solo. Yes, absolutely. You don't hear this in a lot of pop music. So I'm really glad she's incorporated that. Is he like pulling back there? <laughs> He's pulling back so much. That's so cool. Mm. I love Lee Jina. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. What in the Mario Kart with those chords? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Apple Watch is back. Ooh, black cards. Dude, what? <laughs> this is a new key. 
Is that octatonal? Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, it is. I think so. Mm. There's some other sounds up here. I like those. It makes it more, more playful to me. Ooh. Okay. Okay, modulation. Oh, is he bad? <gasps> she she should have shot him at the beginning. She could have. I didn't pay attention to the video at all. The music is too good. Oh, I'm sad. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's incredible. That was awesome. Yeah, I like that. It was definitely extremely different than anything else I've ever listen to yeah just just the style changing is so great it's super smooth too yeah, it sounds refreshing every time at the very beginning i was like "Ooh, this sounds like it's gonna turn into like very like symphonic ballad or something yeah. her her vocal line sounded very much like a flute i was going to say but then like the beat came in i was like okay i'm doing whoa we're going somewhere else now what's even happening harmonically <laughs> just feels like it's constantly changing <laughs> the only answer i can give is yes <laughs> Yeah, way too many modulations in there, man. A lot going on. I think Is that was... a compliment or criticism? Oh no, sorry. Yeah, way too many modulations with a little heart. You know, that's like <laughs> Has like a little, goes from B, B minor, and goes to G. I like this thing where she's kind of balancing out G major, E minor. So you can kind of take elements from both modes. She modulates to A minor, now it's A minor, and then just goes to A major. So that's why it's so bright. Now we're in G sharp. How? Uh, how it's like magic. She's a magician. I want to transcribe this. Oh my god, that'd be so killing. And I want to steal her stuff. No! <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> yeah, I thought the lyrics in the beginning were so like beautiful and like poetic. It's kind of like the little prince mentality, you know, mm. where. All the grown-ups are kind of like corrupt and blinded by greed and yeah. grown-up things. And then the kids, like the little girl, have this kind of more appreciation for the natural wonder and beauty of the world. And like you want to wake up to that and really experience that. I think that's beautiful. Wait, can I actually skip? I'm going to skip to the very end. Because I want to see if this piano at the beginning is like the same at the end. Because I don't think it appears anywhere else in the tracks. Do you know the hero's journey? Have you ever heard of that? The hero's journey is a is a literary model. The hero begins in one place, essentially goes to somewhere new, and then basically goes to hell and back, learns something about themselves on the journey, and then returns. And you can track the hero's journey through like ancient novels like... Um, uh, what's the story about the guy literally going to hell? Uh, uh, Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Uh, and you can track it through a lot of music too. And I want to see if this follows where it, like, they go somewhere, they do something, and then they come back to where they started. And yeah, you see the piano comes right back in. It's a little bit different. It's got, um, it's got slightly different rhythm. It's got a little bit of a different vibe and obviously it doesn't overstay its welcome, it's only there for a few seconds. It's just great musical storytelling. I mean, I, I just really like that story in line, and like, it's just like, conveyed so well with the music. Cause it always, you know, there was that moment where it like, kind of done with the ear, and then here, or like here. It, it, it feels like, you know, it, it doesn't really tell us the time and place. We have to sort of infer based on the things that happen and like how grounded in reality are we or is it totally like a fantasy story or is it sci-fi you know and in the end we get kind of got a mixture of everything and a lot of these yeah these like transitional spots are also tonally ambiguous sometimes and i think it does fit this strange story that's being told on screen and a lot a bit of nature a bit of like you know she's got a backpack she's wearing very much like modern clothing like yeah all this all these juxtapositions, juxta, really fit. The percussion made it sound like, almost like a movie soundtrack. 
I liked like how it was basically just driving the entire time. It, it never like died out. Well, it did die out, but only for like you know, expressive effect. Oh, I like that. So, in that section, they like the drums like had like a fill that was just like da ka da ka da ka da. Like they had like the the hemiola thing going on, and that and then the section after that suddenly the eighth note oh, became yeah. more prominent. So it's like. And then suddenly it's so it's like the the drum was like foreshadowing what was to come. That's yeah. cool. I like the the drums. <laughs> <laughs> they were just really involved. I don't think I've heard any like anything that you showed me that's like been this involved as far as a drum set player. Yeah. You know, Dirty Loops. No. Uh, it's like a they do pop music with like a jazz twist to it, but their drum set player just goes hog wild and it's very full on every track. Simon Petrin, he writes for Dirty Loops. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so what food is this on? Like five star Michelin. Oh yeah, easy. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, there's only three star Michelin. Who can like a chef? I'm a five star Michelin. Well, are we ready for towel track number two? Oh. Man. There's another one. Yes, this continues the storyline. What? All right, the second title track we're reacting to is My Whole New World. It's a love song in which the narrator, no, no, we're, no, we're, has fallen so deeply in love, the object of their affections has become their whole new world. While most of the song is sweet, at the end, the narrator wonders if she has become so consumed with loving this person that she's lost herself. This time, the song is composed by Lee Jinna, of course, and the artist An Kwang Hyun. Mm. Let's not make a reference. Five minutes later. My whole new world. Three, two, one, go. That was the same gun. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, I love it already. A little bit of triangle action. Oh, you're right. Oh, I like the mixing in this. That's oh. some two five ones. <laughs> Is that like a mallet instrument in the back? Like a xylo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of almost like a Zappa line, I think, on a xylo. It's just going from C to E minor. It's just traveling to the same location. It's just different chords. It's like between. before it was G major and E minor. Now it's C and E minor. Her voice is so calming, it's so silky. I like the counter melody of the brass to her vocal melody. I thought it was like acoustic brass, but. I think it's synth. I think it's a flugel horn. Yeah. It's just so sweet. It's like chocolate. <laughs> I like similar chord changes, but the bass adds the ba 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 ba. Gives it a bit more momentum, too. Mm. This one is a lot more straightforward than the last one, just harmonically speaking. Like more easy listening. Oh. Whoa. It's him. Oh, he was the teddy bear. Now he's guy. Yes. Oh. I really like the sounds. Yeah. You would. But. Oh. <laughs> like this isn't even like electric bass. It's just like double bass. But. Stand upright bass. I think that's an interesting color though. On top of like all the electronic like MIDI stuff. I love how the orchestration just like swells into existence. There's a yearning in the music video, that's 
maybe more intense than what's portrayed in the music, but they kind of match. Hmm. I like that little romantic wash of strings in the back. Oh! Ah! Uh, Lee Jin Up? It's her! Oh. It's Lee Jin Up! Oh. Wow. It's her! Oh, hey! <laughs> the queen. Yeah, the queen. Like, now it's like... Oh, a little like Bossa Nova type feel. Yeah! Uh, we're getting a bit of momentum in the percussion now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's restless. I like the imagery of the restlessness with the drum. Uh -huh. And like the suspense of what's going to happen when she sews this teddy bear up. Woo! Oh, dark. Whoa! Monsters. Monster. This is a little lower in her register she's singing than uh -huh. before. And it's Wait. descending. Oh wait, it changed back. I didn't even realize. It changed back. Or maybe it was never Boston Open. I was just... No, no, it did change back. I need to hear that part again just to double check. Oh, I think the song was in G major. Now we're very much in A flat. Wait. What? Wait, did she go to the dark side now? Oh. What happened? Oh, she became that. Oh. oh. Oh, so oh they're God. together now, but they're dolls. I really like this one. It's gorgeous. Ooh. It was really nice. I don't know how to explain my feelings, but I do like it. I know how to explain my feelings. It was like a glass of cold milk in the morning. Just rich and exactly what I needed. A glass of cold milk in the morning. That's how it felt to me. Rich <laughs> and full and, and, uh, and nice. It gave me like... I'm in an elevator with like elevator, oh, elevator music. music and it's no 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 but like it's I personally love elevator music mm -hmm. I think that's like when you're in the elevator and like that music is playing it's just kind of like you're in another world and it's just kind of like you're just like going uh -huh. and just like floating uh -huh. and I feel like that's like the vibe of this song it's just like because I'm assuming the first video was very like climatic and just there's so much going on and like the second part is just like this like buffer sequence and it didn't really feel like the end. It didn't feel like a beginning of something. It was just like, I don't know. It's like a to be continued kind yeah, of Yeah, it's kind of like, this is reality, but where exactly are we going? Yeah, like you're kind of like in limbo. Mm -hmm. Like I felt in limbo the entire time. It's so awesome. Like I'll never interpret this kind of music like this way. Cause this one is like more of like chill vibe, bossa nova. It's like one of those cafe music you will hear at the background mm -hmm. but then she interpreted it as like a very sad and then it's like she the 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 character is seeking for something is like looking for the answer and i feel like these two goes really well together this second song very much reminds me of this this loungy sort of feeling where like you're in a comfortable place where your mind can wander off and think about these 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 idealistic notions this is this is why i think she's a genius because chill vibe can be interpreted usually as chill but mm. sometimes if you can make it well it can be interpreted as sad and that'll be like very effective it gets the balance right where if lee jin ah is singing and just you know going through Yeah, it's yeah it, it not only manages so to make me not want anything more, but it even manages to make that little, you know, going into the B, that last, the higher note, interesting. Even though it's like the most bare minimum stepwise scale thing, but, but just getting all everything right, you know, there's a reason, we're not going to call this minimalism, but there's a reason Philip Glass is like such a successful composer, because he's able to get just the right amount of dopamine hits out of the simplest and most minimal stuff and i think here it is setting up that 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 very lyrical very lo-fi sort of ambient picture very successfully i like this easy tempo you know it feels like something you can walk to and it's very consistent throughout so you don't feel like 
oh, my heart's being tugged into like, oh, suddenly I have to go like yeah, this, this way. And the harmony is very circular. So you feel like, okay, here I am coming back to C major. You can just again. zone out. You're not expecting anything huge to happen. Yeah. Until it does. Yeah. Yeah. Until it does. And then it's okay because like you've been circling around a similar progression for a while. Then you're ready for something new. I think the atmosphere is set up really, really nicely in the beginning. And like that funky bass is like, I, I love yeah. that so much. The bouncy, chill bass. And then of course all the bass, the bass movement also keeps it interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, that was so exciting to hear. Just repeated over and over again as a rhythmic, rhythmic ostinato, but not like, uh, but going through the changes. Even when the, maybe the harmony was kind of staying one note for a while, or like we were just chilling in the same spot for a long enough time, the vocal lines were nice enough and also just creative enough, it felt like, that it like could catch your ear and keep things fresh for a moment. And I think in the end, it moves to A flat somehow. I don't know how we did it, but also that is when the plot twist happens in the, in the music video. Yeah, he's not there, so, yeah. Yeah. Wait, it hold on. Sad. I need to make sure I wasn't wrong about the boss. It was, movie. it was boss. When does it switch back though? It switched back very soon after you pointed it out. Hold on. <laughs> was it here? No. Maybe after this right here. Yeah, and then the triangle comes back in, and that's when it goes back. Oh, when the darkness comes. Oh! Wait, wait! So it switches to Bossa and changes keys when Ijina is there to fix the doll, but then when the darkness comes back, it goes back. Yeah. Maybe it's symbolic. Bossa Nova is, like, angelic. <laughs> it is! It, when I think Bossa Nova, I think, like, sitting by the beach with a pina colada in your hand. Mm. I don't know, it sounds like seashells to me. It's more, like, peaceful. That started to show up, but then was taken away. Wow. Yeah. And also rhythmically, like, that's when the triangle came back in as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe the triangle. The triangle's the, the bad guy, guy bro. <laughs> Evil <laughs> triangle, can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, comparing the two songs, which one do you like better? Second one. First one. First one. I like the first one. I do like the um, first one. The, uh, my Whole New World, definitely. Um, Although, Mystery Village is very spicy. I'm the sort of person who likes to say, like, everything offers its distinct flavor. Right, it comes as a course. Yeah, yeah. It's like a full experience in Michelin star restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I would say I would listen to My Whole New World for easy listening, and the other one, Mystery Village, I think there's, there's more going on to dig into musically speaking. I mean, there's 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 cool moments in both. I like all the sounds in this one better. I feel like it's more cohesive. I really like the momentum that this builds. Like when the when the bass do da ba 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 adds in like a bit of a faster rhythm. I don't know, it's really interesting how the horns blend with everything. It felt like oh, it just really snuck in, but I could still identify what it was. It didn't stick out. They're both like really good. So I don't like like the difference between them is like marginal. Like I would listen to like either of them in my spare time. See, I just, I don't know, I'm just more of a fan of just like more stuff happening. I think I was a little biased because Simon <laughs> produced it. The vibes vary a lot over the course of the film-ish, I guess. Yeah, it, I mean, it is a film, but like, I feel like it's trying to tell a story. It's not so much of here's the vibe, here's the song, it's like, going for the soundtrack kind of it's, Yeah, it's, it's forming a yeah. world around you, yeah. basically. Especially with the, with the new harmonies, like, everything is new to you. So you're, you're trying to figure out where exactly you are. And then just, just throughout all that, then you sort of like learn more about the world, you get more comfortable with it, but you're not quite like sure where exactly you are. I might be more interested in analyzing this or like experiencing it as something like artistic. But um, in terms of like... <laughs> Not that the other one isn't artistic. Brain off, relax, yeah. yeah.